Well, St. Patrick's Day is this Wednesday, and one popular Portland business has reopened just in time. That's right. Our Joe V is in downtown Portland to tell us how you can celebrate St. Patty's Day at Kell's Irish Pub. Well, hi, everyone. I am back once again with Jared McAleese. Kells is back open uh, in downtown. Their downtown location closed for nearly a year. Uh, they just had their first weekend where they welcomed guests back in, obviously at 50% capacity right now. <clears throat> but, of course, open just in time for St. Patrick's Day, which is on Wednesday. Uh, normally, of course, Jared, you've got the big Irish festival. There's pipers. There's dancing. There's all sorts of stuff that we can't do right now. But you guys are still kind of making the most of it. Obviously, you've got beer, food, and you are going to have some entertainment acts that people can see, right? Yes, we're going to have some, a few surprise acts coming in and uh, pretty low key, good Irish music, but we're not allowed to get up and dance this year, as you say. Okay, so we've got uh, a number of uh, great uh, musicians. Well, one's actually right behind us here. Who's, this is Jeremy right here. Hey, uh, good Jeremy, morning. And what band are you with? Coming Up Threes. Coming Up Threes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about kind of the music you specialize in. Uh, music we specialize in is very much traditional Irish music from the instrumental reels and jigs to the good old pint raising uh, participation style Irish music that you love and one of the reasons you come to the pub in the first place. So while there will be music, you can't get up and dance, so enjoy your no. pint from your table <laughs> while Jeremy's playing. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, Jared, you know, a lot of people, if you've been to Kells, you know, Jared's actually an accomplished musician himself. And you, you play a little something for us, right? What is this instrument you have right here? This is called the boron. Okay. It's a traditional Irish instrument made out of goat skin uh, traditionally, but now there's a few other synthetic fabrics they'll, they'll use instead of the goat skin. And then, Jeremy, what do you have? I have a penny whistle. A penny whistle. And then, Jeremy said, hey, Joe, <laughs> if you want to jam with us, yes. you can use these. Like, this is actually, you actually play the spoons, yes, right? Yes, you he play was, the spoons. <laughs> he, was try, he was trying to teach me a little bit of it. Well... There's something right there. Okay, so we're going to have a little impromptu jam session. We're socially distanced, so he's, he's a good, you know, 10 feet away from us. So he can put it on his mask, play your penny whistle, and we're going to jam. All right, you ready? Here we go. Here All we right, go. one, two, three, <laughs> let's jam. There's a prohibition on dancing because the dance won't be packed right now. Hey, if you want to learn more about Kells, their big St. Patrick's Day celebration, we'll have that for you at kptv.com. Jeremy, Jared, thank you very much, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's. All right, guys, let's send it back to you in the studio. <laughs> oh, Joe, thank you. It looks like a good time.